and Motiv- so motivation through fear dude i thought yeah absolutely yeah. i i yeah. like fear and i like accountability um yeah. i think yeah. that a lot of people today are afraid of accountability um a big part of what i did i am scared of Derek. moreover i'm scared of letting Derek down um that kyle's not memeing he mentioned many times in our texts like i don't want to upset Derek. i feel like dog shit but he told me to add an extra 20 minutes of cardio and so is I'm Derek doing your it. trainer? Is that who that is? Derek, more uh, plates, more dates on Derek's YouTube. Derek's a YouTuber. Yeah. He runs more plates, more dates. He was on Rogan recently. Um, he do, this he does he does um, steroid talk and natty talk. He, he does a lot of stuff on his YouTube channel. But he's a gigantic human being himself, and he owns a TRT clinic. And I partnered with him to like do my whole like transformation thing. At the end, I was like, I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's fucking Derek's clinic and Derek's tutelage that allowed me to do all this stuff that I did. Mm-hmm. So it yeah. was um, so for a long time, like he he funded a lot of the stuff that we did. And, uh, and so that put into me this real sense of like, that's him on the screen right there. Yeah, that is. Yeah. But, but I just decided (laughs) like, like I, I, I I sort of entered into like a a contract with this guy, a verbal contract that like, Mm -hmm. and I told him, I'm like, I remember exactly what I said. I was like, you tell me what to do and I won't skip a fucking rep. I was like, you don't understand what we're about to do here. And he's like, no, no, I got you, bro. And then we started that day, and that was sometime in like April of March of like a year or so or two years ago. Yeah. And uh, and then a year later, and we were done. But there were there were so many times when it was awful, and like my main motivating thing was the accountability of like Derek wants to know what we weigh on Monday, and depending on what we weigh on Monday, we are going to either cut some of my few calories out, cut add more to my cardio, or both. He's already <laughs> told me that's what's coming. Like, like you know. that was hilarious. He would like dehydrate himself on Sunday night so that he could make weight on Monday to avoid the cardio that would come as a consequence. Well, I wouldn't dehydrate myself. I just wouldn't have a big drink that night. That's all. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I just I wouldn't I wouldn't just spoil myself with water. <laughs> I just stopped drinking. There there were times before. when I'm he not was dehydrate. <laughs> Woody, do you remember getting the pictures in our WhatsApp where Kyle would send us like a shirtless or like a tank top gym update, and we'd be like. Dude, you're looking enormous. Congrats, you're looking great. And then the next message would be like, "I showed it to Derek, and he said my progress is disappointing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I have to work harder for Derek." <laughs> he never said that, but like, yeah. <laughs> but but it would be like, okay, well, I get, we're on pace. Like yeah. it was, it it wasn't until we got to like the end that I got any kind of a compliment from Derek. And it felt so good. I was like, a, I'm, I'm like a dog to him, I guess. Cause it was, it was, when he finally patted me on the head, I was like, so I, I really felt like I'd earned it. Like, because if you, you think had. I'm ripped, I, that's cool. And I appreciate yeah. that. I value your opinion. But if he thinks I'm ripped, that's his job. Yeah. That's <laughs> his job is identifying people on the internet who are ripped. And, and like, I don't know, I sent him a picture and, and uh, in, in a group that he and I have with it's me, him and some people from the clinic. And and I don't, and he was like, "That's like an anatomy book picture." I remember I, that. <laughs> <laughs> and like that that might be the best compliment I've ever been given. This is my, this my is my favorite told. compliment. Let me jump in because yeah. Kyle's glowing, right? He's so happy, and he says, "Derek says my skin is like dick skin." <laughs> <laughs> this was tight. <laughs> look, uh, that's some thin, dry. low body fat skin we're talking. That's, that's the, the, <laughs> you put some fucking fat calipers on my penis, and I got none. Yeah, awesome. I no fucking fat. love it. I love the intensity. <laughs> I, I I really like the. I, I I'm not a wishy washy guy with things. Like like I, it's hard for me to do like a little diet that so that oh yeah, in six mm-hmm. months from now we'll have lost that ten pounds. Like that to me is insanity. Like mm-hmm. like I would much rather just beat my ass into the ground for a month. And and knock ten pounds off in a month, which I can. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can. I can. It's, it's super easy. Oh, well, I, that's I, not I, easy. I, like I, I average two pounds a month for two for three and a half months. But you said two pounds a month just now. No, two pounds a week. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. You were gaining yeah. two pounds a week. Uh, at first, I I went up, and then I lost. So I bulked for eight months, and then I cut for about three months gotcha. to to do what I did. So for eight months, I add calories more and more and more. I started at 2,500 and by the end it was 3,500, 3,600 a day. Um, and I'm just eating white rice and beef for the most part and veggies. So like, there's no like, 
Um, yeah, it's like a giant chili pot amount of like bison and every every right. meal. Does your stomach gradually it's, expand to the point where you can you can accommodate that. A big part. I imagine thinking that, and I would. I think I would throw up probably. Uh, I hit it from every angle with something like that, right? Like so. I, my my goal is to um, make sure that my my diet is built around being digested quickly, so that I can get to that next meal, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking ten minute walks after every single meal, not only for the cardio effects, but to work yeah, on yeah. insulin resistance and and like hasten that digestion again white mm -hmm. rice goes right through you anyway and uh i'm also just like on the verge of vomiting by the time i finish each meal i'm mm -hmm. all of those things are true at the same time and also gut health things like the amount of yogurt i'm eating and some of the other stuff that are prebiotic and probiotic in my diet that are all meant again to digest things quickly and efficiently so that i can be capable of eating 3,600 mm -hmm. calories a day. And then like, that's not crazy. Like a lot of like professional bodybuilders eat four or 5,000 calories a day. Oh, yeah. The rock didn't he eat like 8,000 or 9,000 calories every day. That's hard to buy. You I, I, show a picture of his, his diet. Frankly, they're not eating as they're not eating the same diet. I am like, there's a lot. I think, I think mm -hmm. that they're getting a lot of the calories from places like fats. You would have to, and they're also bigger human beings, right? Like, like I'm a goat compared to their cow at this point. Like some of those yeah. guys are different species. They're trans. Like Mike, Michael Phelps. What was his like? Remember that big thing like 2008? That's propaganda. Like, That's, propaganda. And... That's propaganda. That's propaganda. Is when it? Work, when he was working out, look. If you work out hard all day and swim, I'm sure we'd all eat four or five thousand calories. The, the fact that he can tack on three or four thousand more isn't that impressive. Well, the guy, uh, the guy who trained, um, fuck, what's his name? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> All these numbers are wrong. He, these people aren't burning 8,000 calories a day. The, the thing is, exercise doesn't burn as many calories as you think. Even a guy it like does. Michael Phelps burns an extra, like, what, 1,500 maybe? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a big number. Regular people exercising are burning an extra 250-ish. Sure. So uh, these eight... 500 ish i have 500 saying? a session i believe you yeah yeah but 500 a session <laughs> doesn't do anything to enable a six or eight thousand calorie day. it doesn't yeah i'm i'm so <laughs> dead so so to, for me to burn 500 i have to run a 5k uh on um an, an elliptical with resistance <laughs> <laughs> that sucks there's a there's a guy have you have you guys heard of the movie i'm sure you have the northman that just came out mm-hmm so Alexander Skarsgård, yeah, that's a good, yeah. So Alex is an, um, Alexander Skarsgård, the guy who trained him, said that he only he has a policy with the people that he trains where they only train for one hour a day, because he has this philosophy where you're not going to get your 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 basic. It's like a diminishing returns. So anything that's all after, I do. You only do an hour a day as well. Yeah, it, it takes me about an hour to get done. Um, if I take a little extra time, it'll be an hour and a half. But I'm not doing three hour sessions almost ever. Like two hours, two hours and fifteen minutes. If I'm in there just killing myself. Mm -hmm. Alexander does steroids for a lot of his uh, stuff. Like I, he, he's one of those guys who's does the chicken and broccoli lie. Um, <laughs> about so like diet. all of them. Yeah. yeah. But, but he's got a physique more akin to yours naturally, like a, a very lean physique. And, yeah, and like, for, and if you look too. at him from like true blood until like Tarzan, like oh. it's just real hard for somebody with that type of body type to pack on that muscle. I would imagine yeah. He, without he got, some steroids he got he got ripped for this movie holy fuck he was what's yeah, it called this, the northman the, the northman is by a guy named um roger eggers he directed the witch oh. and um i'm very excited fuck. for this movie yeah so he's not it. ripped in these pictures he, he he's still looks huge. i mean like he, i mean he's pretty ripped in that but, but but like he's like big big now that that he like so this big. is tarzan and i would yeah, this i would call this ago. ripped. maybe kyle yeah. wouldn't but but i would call this Dude, pretty huge ripped. yeah that guy's ripped Pull up, pull up uh, an image of him in the Northman. To he's, me, he he's, just he's looks 6'4". Okay. He's like 6'4". Yeah. Six, four. Six, four. But the, yeah. to me, I see this as a... Now, this is not ripped to me. Well, it, well it focus. I mean, he's, he's covered with like fake blood and stuff. He's I mean, looking pretty it, yoked. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't totally agree with. I just It was ripped I took his caption to. He I looks think those great fucking ties are between his deltoids and buys to create something that wasn't there before. Dude, I'm getting some of those. I want my forearms well, to like Popeyes. Opinion, he's definitely dude, he's, just big in that movie. He does not it, skip it, trap day. No, like, that, dude, that's yeah. right. well, he, the, the um, trainer said that that was like more like a trick of the camera and the way he flexed himself. Oh, he said yeah, like the, really the downward like, angle with the yeah, light. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wanted yeah, to ask. I roll like, my keep forward going up too. higher if you want him to. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I know we don't want to stay on it. You'll be you'll be like one of those guys from that Super Mario movie eventually. But uh. How did you pick like what weightlifting you're doing? Are you just doing what the personal trainer laid out for you? Or did you go to like bodybuilding.com and just like print out a plan? Like, what are you doing? 
No, I don't have a, like a set. Pl- like I could be more organized about it, but like you know, like in my head, I'm like, you got like arms and chest, and you got core, you got legs, you got you know back and shoulders, mm-hmm. and so like I just try to focus on like two muscle groups every time I go. Like I don't like I like to take my time with the gym. I don't you know like I like to take a lot of time in between the reps. Like I'm sure. not rushed or anything. You're speaking like that. my language. Yeah, because I'm fucking <laughs> old as shit. I'm just tired, and so yeah. you know, it takes me a while to recover <laughs> to a point where I can do another set. So like a lot of times I'm only doing like one exercise every ten minutes. I'm just like, you, uh, I'm really just sitting there and like listening to an audio book or what and so i'm only doing like six or seven exercises each time i go so i try to uh, but i I was reading that you're supposed to get between like 12 and 18 reps of a certain muscle set each week if you want to get the most out of um the muscle growth yeah yeah yeah. they have like volume recommendations his name jeff nippard he has a couple good videos on that about like total volume distribution and I, i yeah very very smart guy jacked out of his mind he's like five five so that helps but I mean, like you don't magic. You don't go to the gym for two weeks and look he's like five, that when you're five. five, five. It doesn't matter. He's but five he's, five, he's, but he found the hottest five foot three girl on the planet, right? Like, yeah, Jesus that, that guy's forearms are like a woman's calf, yeah. like a strong woman's calf. He's huge, it, but like, yeah, it, you want to? I would tell you, d- definitely do a, a push pull legs structure, and follow a routine that someone else makes. So that the way that is, it, it, all of push day. That's just going to be your chest, your triceps, and your shoulders. All your work will be pushing. The next day is pull. That's back, biceps, and of course shoulders involved I'll as well. Say that, so, and then so, legs is self-explanatory. But it's just no. it structures it better. And three days on, one day off, like you still have four days in between, like a push and a push, even though you're getting more total volume. Like a, maybe send it, me a DM on Twitter with a link, and I can check that out because I do. Sure, I'll send you something, of, man. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Um, but, but it's hard. I, I gotta tell you, it, it's difficult for me. Like I'm, you know, I'm not a short guy. I'm like six, three. And so my, and right. my arms are quite long, uh, really quite long. And so push ups for me are real hard a- yeah. and a bench uh. press bench press. I do it. I can do one Oh five, maybe, you know, like five reps and like, and, and I have to <laughs> tap out because, and I, and I talked, you know, my trainer was telling me, it's like, literally because you have longer arms, you have to, and the same with the pushups. It's like, it's a lot harder for you than like the, sh- the short guys mm-hmm. that can, that can go in the gym and get like a lot more out of there. So it's definitely so, true. It, it's yeah. just a harder mechanic. It's a harder thing to do mechanically. Like, like, like mm-hmm. I, my arms aren't as long as yours. We measured them a while back because I was curious how I stacked up against John Jones or something. I think it was like 75, was it? It doesn't fucking matter. But uh, but yeah, definitely is harder. We we're pretty scientific about how we do, how we do the workout thing. Like 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 we've got um we I'm sure we've all in one form or another have a little book somewhere a notebook where we have yep. each we we do this push pull leg rotation. It's a it's very fine tuned. We know what we're going to do on every single day, the amount of reps of each exercise, and exactly how much weight is going to be applied. And it's. Mm-hmm. It's easier to keep track of that than you would think. Like once you write everything down, then all you've got to do every day is some very simple like additions to that. Um, it's the way to get bigger and stronger the fastest. And mm-hmm. like a lot of people would say, yeah, but I'm just trying to get in there to get healthy. But the thing about motivation is if a month goes by and you can't visually see any difference and you can't and you can't prove any difference with a piece of paper, then why would you keep going? It's so hard to do to, to do something that's hard for a month and see nothing come back your way mm-hmm. and then yeah. say, I want another month of that. But yeah. if you can put a month in and you can be like, all right, that's different. Wait, I'm thinking yeah. long game, though. I'm not thinking like I, I you know, I, I don't have any illusions about like significant gains in the first like couple months. I'm really like thinking in terms of I'm, I'm thinking in terms of years you know i'm like trying to imagine what i'll look it's like in a couple i'm of years. different than kyle in this way because like, like kyle's like if you don't if i go a month and don't see results then you know it's not motivating me i i guess i never really expected results i was just trying predicting <laughs> failure uh, and i just sit there and lift away and i'm like pleasantly surprised when anything good happens yeah That's yeah it, was, it no i no, I felt that as well. I was really more speaking to uh, someone who's a beginner who's trying to like for the first mm-hmm. time get into that Spartan ish lifestyle or however <laughs> deep into it. That's what I like to do. Like, like yeah. I want Kyle to likes be, to have gay sex. Yes, like Spartan forced <laughs> upon me. Uh, you know, <laughs> by an older warrior, by an know? older, by a bigger, more jacked guy. Mm-hmm. Just as the Spartan, it, look, it created the most effective fighting force that this planet has ever fucking seen. Okay? I doubt that. We're true. talking centuries of, of of battles without a single loss. It's written yeah. down. Right? I think that twelve Marines could take out the entire Spartan army. I think the I Marines think, uh, have lost a time or two I in the Rome, last fifty years. Rome kind of pushed their shit in, right? 
Not according I, to what the movies I've seen. These are Greeks. These are Greeks. <laughs> It, it, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, no, yeah. What? I just all I meant was I watched you know, all I like two both seasons it. of Rome, so yeah, I'm pretty knowledgeable on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I saw 300, they lost that, Kyle. That show Rome was great. I wish they I mean, the elephants were a problem. I'll admit, <laughs> God, what? Rome, Rome was good. <laughs> yeah. When Sweet 3 Theo showed up, I was out. 